Welcome to the studio, it's Froyal here. I'm so glad you've joined me. I can't wait to show you the incredible art haul <laughs> that I brought home from Shanghai in China. We'll be creating a fabulous collage with multiple layers of beautiful textured papers. It's going to be so much fun. Today we're creating fabulous collage using multiple textured papers inspired by my recent trip to China. I had a fantastic time with my son. Oh man, what culture shock! From little old Ruakaka <laughs> to the bright lights in the big city of Shanghai. We had a glorious time visiting the ancient palace, viewing the art at the China Art Museum, and of course, a few days at Disney. Are you wet? No, not at all. <laughs> oh my God. Now don't get me started on the shopping and wait until you see the incredible art haul that I brought home. <laughs> This is week 11 of 100 days of collage and our theme is the color spectrum, which is really exciting because I get to start with my favorite color. <laughs> right, starting with red is really easy for me because yes, I love it. <laughs> red is my favorite color. So I'm going to have lots of papers in red. That's gonna work really well. I've got this fabulous jelly print. I've got handmade paper i've got some beautiful red moonscape that's gonna work i've got some fabulous new agora lace in red oh my gosh so while i was in shanghai yes i did buy a few things <laughs> the beauty of being in china is i could sit on my son's couch with an app and just purchase endlessly fabulous art supplies that would then turn up the next day on the doorstep I mean, how could I not? How could I resist? <laughs> I purposely went with only half a suitcase full of clothes and returned with the other half full of beautiful art supplies, papers, inks, even some glorious stamps. I had so much fun. And now, of course, I have a beautiful supply of fabulous Chinese inspired influence. So throughout this theme of the color spectrum, I'm going to be incorporating the influence of my beautiful Chinese papers that I brought home with me. How very exciting. It's going to add something a little bit different to the pages. And I get to start with red. <laughs> So I'm working in my art journal. I'm going to do one page per color. You know the color spectrum, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So that will be our seven collages for our theme of the color spectrum in week 11 of 100 days of collage. I'm hoping that this art journal survives to the end of my 100 days, it's getting pretty darn fat, but we're going to push on and make it work anyway. It's got a bit of a curl on it from all the thick pages, but I'm gonna start with this fabulous jelly print because I'm loving it, just loving it. And then I'm going to add some of the red moonscape paper to there. That's the start. I've got the fabulous Agoura lace in red. Oh my gosh. I could also put some black on if I want to get dramatic and maybe a little smidgen of the handmade paper. Not sure. Maybe I'll just glue this down first and then we'll decide. Of course, I would like to add a little piece from this. I know, right? Look how beautiful it is. Oh, I just <laughs> absolutely love it. So I'm thinking we're going to put a little bit of this in because the pattern is just so beautiful. Right, my jelly print is down and my moonscape paper is on the page. Uh, loving both these textures, they're just glorious. Now, what are we going to do? Next, I think we could do with putting something maybe across the middle there. I really do want to use some sections of this. Now, um, don't have a cry about me ripping it up because 
the pack that I bought came with five sheets. <laughs> five sheets of this. It's so darn exciting. Maybe we'll use this end section. That's a good idea. How about we just give it a tear there. Not sure what, what paper it is, but, you know, China's pretty well known for its amazing paper. Just saying. Uh, that could go across there like that, a section of it. Or, 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 or we use a section of it up here. That could work too, but it needs some fibres underneath it. Do we want to add some of the red fibre underneath? Or do we want to add some? Oh, we could add some red across there. Righto. So then what we're going to put up here, we could put some of the fibres of maybe the handmade paper. That could work. Or else I could go for a rummage in my scrap bag and find something else. Righto. Well, that's definitely going to go on it. Uh, I think we'll tear it. Oh, it's really soft. It may, might be some kind of rice paper, I'm thinking. I don't know, man. I couldn't read the description of what it was. I just thought it was pretty and I wanted it. <laughs> so, you know, you buy it on the app and then the next day it's on the doorstep. Oh, man. I tell you, next time I visit my son in China, I'm going to take two suitcases. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Let's give it a little bit more of a trim like that. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking the stamps. I'm liking it there. I just want something underneath it so it's more of a highlight. And I think I'm going to put some of the red textured paper across there. So let me try and get a straighter piece. Righto, so I'm thinking this little piece, it's a little beat up from my scrap bag, but it's a piece of the gold marble paper because I just want something textural underneath it to give it a more of a um, focal point. So that could work. Yes, I'm liking this idea. That's going to work like that. I'm liking these beautiful Chinese papers. I'm telling you, it's going to go crazy. <laughs> and I pulled off some more of the red. Now, I would call this the Agura Lace because it looks like that the Japanese paper that I've gotten in the natural colour and the black. I haven't seen red before, but I don't know if that's what they were calling it in China because I actually couldn't read the description. So that's going to go across the middle there because I wanted some more textual elements. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you're going to know I love multiple layers when it comes to collage. I think it's more interesting. It's definitely more fun. And you know... If it's not fun, I don't want to play. <laughs> right, so let's put this down. I'm really liking these two elements sitting together. I love that gold marble paper. That one came from hmm, Australia Mate, I think. That one came from Australia. Camipaper.com.au is where you'll find that beautiful marble paper and when my Little Treasure came to visit me recently. I had ordered a heap for her to bring over, which was just fabulous because the shipping is a pain, right? Oh my gosh, getting anything shipped to beautiful New Zealand is just so painful and so expensive. But we do find our ways. I just visit people. <laughs> or I tell them to come and visit me. <laughs> right, that's looking good. Now, what are we going to do with this? It's rather beautiful. I could leave it alone. I do like that Moonscape paper. That also comes from the Cami paper people in Australia, mate. Or else I could pull out one of my brand new, oh my gosh, beautiful Chinese stamps. Yes, I could. Okay, so here's the box that I bought. We went to a traditional Chinese painting art class. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. There was my son and Yilly and myself, and it was just fantastic. It was all in Chinese, but Yilly was interpreting for me. So, you know, it was fabulous. It really was a whole lot of fun. So I bought these beautiful stamps and they mean happiness and positivity or something. I've forgotten. <laughs> but... Yearly help pick them out for me and they're all very positive and uplifting 
words aren't they gorgeous oh my gosh this is so beautiful and the shapes are amazing so let's put one of these down here it comes with this glorious looking box and you know i haven't done this before so we're both going to see how well it's going to work <laughs> maybe i should have road tested it before i actually put the camera on oh well too bad so sad <laughs> we'll make it work so we're putting four of them together i mean you could just put them singularly but they're pretty small so i'm gonna put all four of them in this box which is a really cool idea loving this idea and then we're going to stamp that righto well let's use the stamp pad that came with it see how easy is this <laughs> yeah we'll see we'll see okay well maybe i should do a practice one first what do you think what do you think what do you think Ta-da! look that looks so cool i wonder if i got them up the right way i actually don't know <laughs> but it looks really cool so we're gonna go with it we're gonna just make it happen I may or may not actually have the characters up the right way. So, you know, don't crucify me if I have got them the wrong way. Ooh, got some serious ink on there. Where do we want to put it? Not in the middle, probably just over here, I'm thinking. How about there? Ta-da! Oh yeah, it looks good. I smudged it around the edge of the box. Well, not to worry, it's a collage in an art journal. It's not like we're exhibiting the piece. Let's try it again. Ah, looks beautiful. I know, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I'm just loving it. Okay, someone take the stamp off me because <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Okay, I'm loving that. It looks beautiful. I don't mind too much that I've got ink on the box and it's making the little squares around them because the pattern's really cool. I like the repetitive shapes. They look beautiful. I know they mean very positive and inspiring things. And that always makes me happy. So there you go. What do you think? First one done in red of our color spectrum. I think it's glorious. Let's get on and do the next one because, you know, we do have seven to get through. So, yes, I did keep stamping. I stamped another row and I looked up on my phone what they meant because I knew I'd forget. Um, it's heart, light, wealth and happiness. Of course. I would only pick positive things. So that's looking rather beautiful. Now, orange. I've got this fabulous jelly print. I've used my small five by seven as a stamp on the background of this glorious orange color. And then this is an ink blot straight onto the page. Love it. It's one of my favorite techniques for mark making. And I think this is a good place to start. So I'm going to put this jelly print on here. And then what else are we going to add to it is the question. I think it works well with my Chinese influence feel. It's not Chinese, but it could be because it looks strongly like a character and it's making me happy. So I'm using it. Now we're going to have to put either something at the top or the bottom because the page doesn't quite fit. Which way do we want to go? Maybe we'll pull it to the bottom and add something to the top. So let's have a look at some more jelly prints, which of course, if your studio is like mine, you're going to have 200 different options of what could possibly work. So I'm thinking I might pull in some more of those circles. I do them quite often with my jelly printing. I've got these ones. This background is from my own stamp of my beautiful script writing stamp it's glorious it makes a fabulous background you can't see what it says it doesn't matter it's a great texture so i'm going to pull a strip of these circles 
straight across there, put them at the top because that's going to look pretty cool and pretty dramatic. And we all know I do like me a bit of drama. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So let's put those at the top here. Yes, they are going to look fabulous. Loving that plan. Stan, and do you think we need something else on here? Of course, of course, of course. Maybe some more of that paper. That could work. That's a nice little bit that's left over from tearing that section out. So let's have a look and see. Loving the stamps today. I'm feeling it. We could just put it very simply, a section there on that side. You know, that could work. <laughs> we could put a black circle on there. Hold the phone caller. Let me see if I can buy one. We could use one of these black beehive circles on there. Oh, I do love the fibrous paper of these beehives. Now, I like to stamp lots of circles. I do have other pages full of those. I could have pulled out one of those, but I'm feeling like I really want this particular texture of the paper. I'm thinking it could look really beautiful like on top of there, like that. That's working, I'm loving it. That's just glorious. I could always put a little stamp in the middle. <laughs> so much fun. Now I'm gonna glue all this down and while I'm gluing all this down, I'm going to tell you about this month's fabulous inspiration packs. It's the beginning of the month and we're sending out our fabulous inspiration pack. Now these inspiration packs are absolutely jam-packed full of handmade and textured papers. Each one is unique and only available on Patreon. So come and join me on Patreon and you can receive one of these beautiful inspiration packs each month from my studio to your doorstep, full of beautiful papers to inspire your creativity, encourage your artwork, and maybe just to have a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Right, I think that looks rather fabulous. The papers are all down. The colours work really well. The shapes are working well. Oh man, it's just making me happy. Right, I'm thinking it's not actually dry, but I'm thinking I'd really like to put a little stamp on there. So, you know, I just, <laughs> just happen to have a few more. I mean, look at these. You couldn't have resisted them. They're absolutely beautiful. So amazing. They say positive things. I can't remember exactly. I've got it written down somewhere. <laughs> I just love them. Even the packaging's beautiful. And I bought some stamp mud. What is stamp mud, you ask? I'm thinking that it's just ink for stamping. <laughs> no idea, really. But we're going to put our beautiful... Oh, gee, that's nice. It does feel like mud. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. Let's have a look and see what it looks like on the paper. Yes, look at that. Look at that. That's just fun. Righto. Loving the stamp mud. Let's put it on here. Right there. Yeah, you can't see it much because it's still wet. <laughs> I could have waited, but oh man, I'm not good at waiting. Loving the stamp mud. Ooh, let's have a look at that one. Oh yeah, that's a bit more dramatic. We might go over the other one, but it'll probably work better if I waited for it to dry. Oh, love it, love it. All right, let's do three. Okay, that's beautiful, loving that. The stamps are on, the shapes are looking fabulous. It really does need to dry. Now, 
beautiful Chinese influence with our glorious color spectrum. We have red and orange. Now, yellow is not going to be so easy because uh, I'm not great at using yellow. I don't use it a lot, but I'm going to have to do some jelly prints in yellow just to use because I don't even think I have any. Although gold, technically, I'm pretty sure we could use gold. Yes. Righto, so I'm gonna let these pages dry and I might whip up a couple of jelly prints with some yellow just for the next page. Yippee, let's do that. Thanks for joining me today. I know, right? Didn't I come home with a lot of art supplies? <laughs> next time I'm taking two suitcases. <laughs> It was so much fun. I'm absolutely loving this theme. Don't forget there's a playlist if you've missed any of the episodes of 100 Days of Collage and you will find more information in the description under the video. There's also discount codes so you know you might want to have a look. See you again next time in the studio.